Hi guys, what you need to play if you've never played before. So first off, what is Bolt Action? So Bolt Action is a tabletop miniatures game set in World War II. It plays very similar to other games, distances, etc. and in inches. Uh, the unique feature of Bolt Action is it uses a order dice system to activate your individual units rather than uh, I go you go with all of your army so what you need to play well first off you need your rule book which obviously contains the rules of the game uh, basic army lists for a couple of factions um, after that you'll need uh, armies of book so if you have the rule book and you decide you want to collect uh, US uh, infantry for example then you'll need uh, Armies of the United States book, which if you've played 40k is similar to an Army Codex. It gives you the units that you can take in the army. It also gives you specific lists for theatres. So if you decide you want to play a Kasserine Pass battle, then it has a list for the US for Kasserine Pass. Uh, um, after that you need dice now the game uses standard d6 dice um, 20 dice should be enough uh, preferably in two or three colors uh, this speeds up gameplay uh, what i mean by that is is if you've got a squad of infantry with your nco as an, an smg you have a bunch of rifles and you have an LMG, then different weapons have different ranges. So when they fire, there will be different modifiers. So if you use red dice for your rifles, black dice for your uh, SMG on your NCO, and green dice for your LMG, then you can count up all the dice you need and you can roll them all together. And it, it's just easier and it's quicker doing that than rolling two dice for your NCOs, SMG, then rolling six dice for your rifles, and then rolling another four dice for your LMG or whatever you've got on the squad. Um, the other thing you'll need is order dice. Now, you need one order dice for each unit in your army. Um, if you don't have order dice and you're just starting out you can just use two identical sets of d6 dice um, and the numbers one to six will relate to the orders that are on a normal order dice so number one could be wrong number two could be advanced etc it's entirely up to you if you decide to take it further and decide to play um outside of your house down at a club or even decide you're going to do tournaments then you'll have to get a set of order dice i think they're about 15 pound for a pack of 12 and you come in 12 for a reason uh, when the game was originally wrote it was wrote to be played at a thousand points and he worked out that be one order dice roughly pay 100 points plus two extras so it gives you 12 order dice for a thousand. So that's that's the reason why uh, a lot of events and that will say 12 order dice as your limit. That that was that's what the game was wrote for, 12 order dice. Now if you do decide to go to a tournament uh, in the future, I, I recommend you get two sets of order dice. Uh, the reason for that is um, if you've got green order dice, you could be drawn up against somebody else who has green order dice and then you're stuck. You've both got the same colour order dice. So if you, if you decide to go to an event, I recommend you take two different coloured order dice and make sure you've got enough order dice for each of the units in your army. That way, if you've got green order dice for your army and you come up against your opponent... And they've got green order dice you can quite easily just swap out no problem i'll use my red order dice and it, it just makes life easier so yeah that's one to remember in the future have yourself two uh, lots of order dice if you 
end up going down the tournament route or even if you end up going playing in your local shops you don't know what colour or the dice your opponent's going to have it's always worthwhile having two colours next thing you need is a dice bag um, I've just got a normal cloth bag here but you can get uh, official ones from Warlord at about £20 uh, £25 with, the, with a set of order dice so if you've not got order dice it's worthwhile getting a bag and dice it'll save you a bit of money there uh, you only get one set of order dice obviously so you still have to buy a second set of order dice if you're going to do that but what happens is your order dice and your opponent's order dice get put into this bag the bag gets shaken and the dice are drawn out one at a time and whatever colour dice that is it relates to the unit that's being activated that time uh, you'll also need a tape measure obvious reasons for measuring distances weapons ranges etc you'll also need a set of uh, templates which warlord do um this is because he weapons um some uh, tanks can fire he out of the barrels you've got the artillery howitzers etc all use he and basically it's like a little blast template so you'll need a template set you also need pin markers now you can use warlord's pin markers which are nice little red plumes look like a, an explosion uh, they're really good and the base is numbered i think it's one to ten or one to twelve i can't remember now but the numbers are really really hard to see so it's much easier to have multiple pin markers next to your unit so it's easy instead of having to pick the pin marker up and look at it to see what number it's on you can see oh that's got two pins because it's got two pin markers next to it also makes it easier for your opponent to see how many pins that unit's got you if you haven't got pin markers it's not a problem you can use anything you like a uh, little plastic markers little plastic tiddlywinks anything like that you can use to mark um your pins on the units it's entirely up to you um even then even when you're playing tournaments as long as you've got enough markers for your units you can still use whatever you, you want you don't have to use the official warlord ones a lot of people do but that's entirely up to you and of course the last thing you need is miniatures for your army because that's what you want to do so that's it guys that's a quick beginner's guide to what you need to play bolt action so i'll quickly recap you need the rule book armies of book for whatever army you want to play normal d6 sided dice about 20 and a couple of different colors if you can or the dice for when you're playing in clubs or tournaments if you plan on doing that way if you play it at home then you can just use two lots of identical sized d6 dice doesn't make any difference you need a dice bag tape measure set of templates pin markers and of course your miniatures so thanks for watching hope you found this useful see you all next time Hey guys, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see more, then please hit the subscribe button. If you want to be really, really good and you want to support the channel, then please click on the link before and support me through Patreon. Thanks again. See you all next week.